Hey, beautiful YouTube people. Gosh, today is a wild and crazy day all the way around. My hair looks crazy. I look crazy always. Um, and my husband got to start his Top Fuel Dragster today. It's an alcohol dragster at Milan, Michigan. And I'm just so proud of him. You can talk yourself out of your dreams and your hopes and your, what's that word, aspirations. And you can beat yourself up for years. He told himself he'd never measure up to his dad. He's no good. He's a piece of garbage. He's a piece of shit. You can have yourself believe so many lies so many lies and I still can't even believe he owns that I mean he busted his ass to get that that wasn't uh, you know he got a lot of parts free here and there but something like that if it was brand new would be a couple million dollars his is probably worth every bit of probably sixty thousand seventy thousand dollars he's got a Hemi motor and if anybody knows about cars that's pretty damn good are like wrinkling up in my leg and it hurt um so I'm, I'm very proud of him because of something that he's wanted ever since we were married <laughs> the close let's put it this way his father used to race and build top fuel dragsters for Connie Coletta and Shirley Moore Downey the closest he ever got to dragsters was that was buying a pair of Simpson shoes they're fire resistant retardant shoes okay he just talked himself out of it he thought by wearing a pair of shoes that he belonged now he's got an actual car borrowed somebody's trailer somebody's truck everybody's helping him everybody's one thing about the racing people they're a team effort family good people they're good good people and that sport, they help each other out. They're at each other's camps. This guy wants to help that guy. This guy wants to help that guy. That's the beauty of it. That is the beauty of drag racing. It really is. But, but, but mostly what this video is about is please don't talk yourself out of your dreams and aspirations in life. Everything is hard. Just go into it with the reality Hey, everything's going to be against me. It's going to be a 100% uphill battle. But eventually, people are going to see things the way I see them. You just can't let go. You just can't let go. If, if, if you are your own cheerleader and you're going to fall, you're going to fall because everybody falls and makes mistakes. And that, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you have the... I'm fixing the air conditioning in here real quick, guys. If you have the have the guts to stick it out, you can do it. How do you think people like Johnny Depp, Madonna, or movie stars, people, they just never stop. Prince never stopped, never gave it up, never gave it up endured and pushed and pushed. Now I say Prince is a really good example because they said he would he would uh rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and then watch his rehearsals and find mistakes by him and his crew and just keep working on it making it better making it better making it better and that's just that's what life's all about he was true to his craft okay if you want something bad enough in this world you have to say okay I'm I focused on this. Nothing else is going to get in the way. This is what I want. That's the only way you're going to get something in this world, especially nowadays. How bad money, everything is, people are, things are tough. It can be done. It can be done. My husband's proof at 50 years old, when we were married, he was, what, 25 and I was 32? Couldn't do it then, but he's doing it at 50. So that shows you if you open your heart and you open your mind and you trust in God and just keep trying and you be a good person doing it, it can happen. It can happen. So I just wanted to say a video today about believing in yourself, not letting your hopes and dreams go away. Don't let nobody steal that from you. Don't let yourself steal that from you. 
Because you can be like my husband and talk yourself out of it. And he just can't believe. He just, just owning it and starting it is enough for him. Even if he never raced that car, just to know he got this far, something he talked himself out of, is huge. Huge, huge. So I just want to be an encouragement to anybody and everybody out there. Don't for one minute fool yourself or let anybody take that away from you. Lisa sharing life stories with you. Share my video. Spread some positivity. And people be nice out there. I had a young kid be so damn rude to me that I worked at Kroger. I wanted to beat his ass, okay? Wanted to be his ass. You know, he's putting stuff up on a shelf fine, okay? But if you're not going to block the aisle off, I was thinking I should be able to get through. He's got a garbage box there, and he's on a ladder, so I'm trying to make extra careful that I don't get close to him or anything. I hit his garbage box with my cart. Oh, I should just close off the aisle next time and not let nobody in. Well, why don't you use your common sense, fool? Pick up the garbage box, and I would have been able to get through the aisle okay. Why does nobody ever see their faults? Why, why is that? I don't understand. Why does nobody see their faults though? Really? You, you, you're on a ladder. You're putting dressing up at Kroger. Marzetti? My, my friend laughs at me all the time. Mar Marzetti. Best damn dressing there is, guys. Try it. I use the veggie one for my crackers, but it can, you know, dip your vegetables in. That stuff is like crack to me. Well, anyways, I bought a thing of it because it's expensive. More expensive at Kroger than it is at Walmart. And, yeah, he was blocking the whole aisle acting like a fool. So, whatever. But, uh, just don't let nobody take it from you. Don't let nobody steal your dreams. You got to be realistic. You have to be tough. And you have to go for it. Okay? And if you do, eventually something's going to break open for you. Some door, a ray of light's going to shine through. That's the best thing I can tell you. A ray of light, somehow you're going to get a door open for you. And that one day things are going to change. Until then, it's going to be an uphill battle and it's going to be hard. You can do it. My husband did it. it. Took him 25 years, but he did it. One day he kept saying, maybe my stupid fat wife makes sense. Ah, she maybe she makes sense. This is attainable. Surround yourself by good people. People who like what you like, who want or have what you have. And that's when everything changed for my husband. Surrounding himself by a good man that is a good person, cares about him. Watching out for him. Learned a lot from him. You know, and he got his car, and he's helped him a ton. Wonderful friend. I love him to death. So, yeah, it can be done. 25 years later, his dream when we first got married that he couldn't do, he is now doing. I'm cracking my knuckles, too, and wiping my hands because I got an obsession with cracking my bones. I love to hear him crack. How stupid that sounds, but I do. Anyways, like and share this. Share this for people that give them a positive boost, a jump, okay? I want people to believe in themselves. God believes in us. We need to believe in each other, right? Okay? I love all of you. Lisa sharing life stories with you. I got your back. Subscribe. Always positive stuff on this channel. Sometimes I'm going to bitch about people. But yeah, pretty much positivity on this channel, okay? I love all of you. All right, you have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.